All right, well, loads nice and fast. Awesome, happy about that. Uh, I hate you because you have a nice big, uh, please go install our application. I'm assuming that's what that says because my Spanish is not all that good. We start yep. getting rid of this kind of stuff. You know, hitting that button is a pain in the ass. It's kind of tiny. So uh, I don't like you for that, but I'll deal with it. I'll go hit it on a bunch of these guys. Go away. Uh, um, so I like you've got search here. I'm not quite sure what this is. Okay, so we're giving me more options on stuff that I can do. You're taking up a ton of space for your logo up here. Uh, that's a bit of a pain in the butt. Like, all right. I'm, I'm okay with big logos because, you know, logos are important, but that might be a little bit too much. Um, uh, in general, uh, on this particular device, actually this device as well, a lot of these uh, targets are a little bit too small. For me to actually go hit this, it takes a lot more work than it should. You want to space these guys out about 48 pixels wide each. Um, in terms of uh, other stuff that's going on, it's feeling responsive, but it's feeling small. All right. Actually, let me rephrase that. It's either you either get a small experience or the desktop experience. That's it. The, and that's it. And realistically, like, there are 46 devices on this wall, and they're all different sizes. They're all different types. And you should be building responsive sites that, depending on the size of the device and how things fit, things respond naturally. So the best way that I suggest folks start is start building small and build for a very narrow viewport. Start here. And then start expanding things out. And when you get your browser window to a certain width and things start looking crappy, it's time for a breakpoint. Change around how things look. Add more columns. Do more things that provide a different user experience and a, a little bit more involved uh, thing. Web Fundamentals is a great place to start. Developers.google.com slash web slash fundamentals. Okay. A lot of great resources there on how to get started best practices on things that you should be doing and how you can really make a great user experience no matter whether they're coming in on a tiny little device a moderate sized device or something pretty huge okay thank cool. you very much you're very welcome